Before we leave, we do need to make sure that the grocer and the chef here in Solitude don't have the ingredients we need. So let's talk to Verda Numida. Let me guess. You found one of those ridiculous handbills Reginus posted all over town. God, it's like we're holding auditions for children's theater. Please understand, this is a serious commitment. You really wish to join the Antiquarian Circle? The Antiquarian Circle? The University of Gwylem's most prestigious historical society. We scour the continent for lost antiquities, collecting and cataloging as we go. We've made hundreds of discoveries, thanks in no small part to our scrying tool, the Antiquarian's Eye. What is the Antiquarian's Eye? An invention of our university's founder, Chirain Fire. It allows the wielder's mind to travel vast distances and find buried mm, relics. Interesting. Truths lost to history. Gazing into the eye requires no small measure of talent. How talented are you, I wonder? Let's find out. How do I begin? Admission to the circle begins easily enough. Just place your hand on the antiquarian's eye. If you possess the aptitude, you will oh, attune no. to the eye in this. If you don't possess the aptitude, the eye will reject oh, you. Oh no. Couldn't be simpler. Um, let's prep ourselves first. What can you tell me about the eye? It's a magnificent device, alien in origin. As I said before, our university's founder, Chirain Fire, developed it along with countless other scholarly tools. Alas, he died before we could demonstrate the object's true potential. I see. What does it do exactly? It homes in on objects of historical import. Much like a bloodhound, without all the baying and drooling, of course. We still don't fully understand how it determines an item's value. Just more proof of our founder's genius, I suppose. Interesting. How many of these devices do you have? We recovered several from a vault in Elenir. It seems Sage Fire intended for the university's best and brightest to continue his work after he was gone. Mm. It took longer than he would have liked, I'm sure. But I fully intend to honor his legacy. What is the goal of the Antiquarian Circle as a group, exactly? We seek the truth above all else. Written histories rarely give an honest accounting of the past, so we go straight to the source. Relics, curios, even ancient bric-a-brac. Anything that can teach us more about the myriad cultures of Tamriel. I could get behind that. Are the relics you find valuable? Uh, I assume you mean commercially valuable? Yes, you can keep any relics you recover and do with them what you will. The Circle's chief concern is cataloging the discoveries and learning what we can from them. Everyone benefits from the arrangement. Sounds good. What is the uh, University of Gwylem? Uh, it's a school, of course. The very best by any credible assessment. At least it was. Uh, but I wouldn't give to walk those halls again. This frigid annex is a very poor substitute. Very poor indeed. Did you teach there? For a time, I studied there as well. Despite all of Cyrodiil's struggles, I really did believe we could weather the storm. But war has far-reaching consequences, even for those who want no part in it. Especially for those who want no part in it. So you've established a new annex here? Because of the war? Here and elsewhere, the faculty scattered to the winds when the plane meld took hold. Fortunately, most of us survived, and we write each other constantly. I wound up in Skyrim somehow. As frozen wastelands go, it's really quite pleasant. She doesn't seem very excited to be here. Let's, um, I guess, try. Okay. Impressive. We rarely see such an energetic attunement. Okay. So we didn't fail. That's a good sign. Well, well, well. It seems I underestimated you. With a reaction like that, you may well rival Gabrielle, our most accomplished antiquarian. Wow. I wonder what secrets you might find gazing through the eye. Hashtag chosen one? Um, how does it work? In a hurry, are we? We'll teach you to use the eye in due course. First, do you vow to uphold the principles and traditions of the circle? 
to catalog your discoveries for future generations and give a true accounting of Tamriel's history? I do. I want to join the Antiquarian Circle. An excellent decision. Mastering the eye is no small endeavor. But with Gabriel's tutelage and my rigorous oversight, we may make a true scholar of you yet. Awesome. Welcome to the circle, Antiquarian. Thank you. Now we have unlocked the skill line of scrying. Now then, we should begin your education in earnest. I suggest you speak with Gabriel Benale. I can provide some you scholarly advice. excavation as well. But when it comes to using the Antiquarian's eye itself, you'll find no Completed a daily endeavor. Gabriel. Um, where is Gabriel? Downstairs, poring over more maps and tomes, no doubt. Honestly, the girl never stops working. I'd almost think she was trying to make the rest of us look bad if she wasn't so confoundedly cheerful. At any rate, she'll get you sorted. All right, I'll go downstairs and speak to Gabriel. Gabriel, speak Gabriel. With me again once Gabriel's taught you the basics. Gabriel, I know I can come across as chilly, but truthfully, I'm anxious to get you into the field. Um. Nice, nice on you for being self-aware. Pretty cool trait that you got there. Um, but why can't you teach me how to use it? Because I'm not a mage. <laughs> Don't make a face. I never said I possess the aptitude. We all contribute to the circle in our own way. You may wield the eye, but rest assured, my skill as a writer is no less important. I see. Um, how does your writing contribute to the circle? Not just writing. Few can match my knowledge of ancient history. Aside from those who lived through it all, like that insufferable dark elf debate fear. You may find these relics, but it's incumbent upon me to tell you what they are. I see. So she's our ex explanation person. Got a thing here? An introduction to circle correspondence. Welcome to the Antiquarian Circle. As a newly inducted member of our prestigious order, you will likely have many questions. Please read the following primer on arcane correspondence. Alrighty, let's go. As every traveler knows, the sheer breath of Tamriel makes everyday communication difficult. Letters sent via courier often arrive late or damaged if they arrive at all. Partial ship by caravan are routinely waylaid by brigands. Given the sensitive nature of our work, these crude methods of correspondence are unfit for our needs. Luckily, our prestigious founder, uh, what was it? Tjurhain Fiore? 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 Devised a clever way to transmit messages over long distances. Your antiquarian's eye is the key. The antiquarian's eye you acquired during orientation shares a powerful bond with our central or principal eye here at the Gwilin Annex. I thought she left there. Well, no, I guess they moved, so it's just talking about the main one that they have in general. Okay. Using the central eye, our chief arcanist, Gabriel, Gabriel uh, Penele, can conjure up ghostly images of every antiquity you uncover. This allows our dutiful scholars to start examining the object from afar almost immediately. Within a short period of time, Gabriel will transmit our findings directly to your eye, allowing qu quick notation in your antiquarian codex. Given the complexity of the enchantment, these missives will be brief, but hopefully informative. At this point, it is prudent to remind you of the priceless nature of your antiquarian eye. Even after months of careful study, we have only scratched the surface of its capabilities. So please exercise caution when using it. If you have any additional questions, please contact Gabriel Panelli. Good hunting. Verita Numida. Okay. So she was saying, oh, she does so much, you think she'd want to make us look bad, and then she delegates work to her. Okay... She said she was down. Oh, she just didn't want to spawn in. Hello. Ah, you must be the Antiquarian Circle's most recent addition, eh? Greetings. Sorry for the mess. I'll tidy up down here, you know, eventually. But I digress. Verita wants me to teach you to use the Antiquarian's eye, yes? Yeah, Verita said you can use it better than anyone else. Wow, really? That's uncharacteristically gracious of her. Huh. Well, anyway, let's get started. It all begins with concentration. The eye wants to show you what you seek. So, clear your thoughts. 
and conjure up a picture of the relic in your mind. Okay, so I need to have a relic in mind. Then what? The exciting part. Gaze into the eye and focus on the facets in the glass. Take a breath and try to unify the symbols into a single pattern. Eventually, you'll stop looking at the lens and start looking through it. Why don't we just give it a try? Fair enough. I'll try using it. Okay, did they give me one to test? Ah. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so I think this one is the one bottle to test fledglings. Okay. So we can only do this one. Uh, Gabriel's Bottle of Proving. This bottle was buried by Gabriel Benelli to test fledgling antiquarians. Though not as valuable as a proper antiquity, it was much easier to find. So we're gonna scry. Well done. Ooh! Now it looks interesting. Okay. Now that you've chosen an antiquity to seek, you need to scry for its location. Concentrate, and the facets should merge. Okay. Unifying the lens into a single pattern will perfectly attune the eye, but you only need to reach the foci to gain a rough idea of the object's location. If you lose your focus, just try again. Okay. Um, claim facets that are adjacent to the facets you already control, beginning at the large crystal found at the bottom of the eye. Carefully select, select additional facets to reach the glowing foci. Okay. I don't get it. Are we supposed to do all of them? Or, okay. You've claimed a foci. These special facets help you narrow your search. Every foci you claim starts, strikes one false stick site from your map, allowing you to focus your efforts more effectively. If you do not claim all of the foci, you can always try to scry for the same antiquity again, hopefully with more success. Oh, I think I get it. I think I get it. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh wait, why did I set that as a thingy? Let's go outside and go get it. She just buried it in the backyard. It's like, go find it. Looks like this is the spot. Time to excavate the antiquity. Okay. Dicky dicky hole. Remember to move cautiously. Oh. Use the right tool Remember for the right level of excavation and Use don't right rush yourself. For the right level Even of careful digging can result in an yourself. unsteady dig site. So be mindful Even of its stability. She's speaking over herself. So be mindful of its stability. Okay. Now that uh, now that you found an antiquity dig site, you'll need to excavate it without breaking it. Use the antiquarian's eye to locate the object, then use the provided tools to remove the dirt around it. So I don't really get it. No. I was trying to do the tutorial. Only works with the lowest three layers of okay. Oh wait. Oh, I had to press X. There we go. Successfully, you successfully unearthed bonus loot. Bonus loot unearthed. When a dig site no longer contains any bonus loot, the excavation will automatically end. Just remember, some dig sites contain more than one bonus loot item. Any bonus loot items you recover over the course of your excavation will appear in the post-dig summary. Potential items include rare enchanting runes, set items, motif chapters, or other useful rewards. Cool. Is there anything else? Oh. 
Okay, that's getting close to the, the real thing. Is there anything here? Oh, it's night time, so we can't- Oh, okay. Try again. Still just kind of learning the ropes Remember here. Remember to move cautiously. Use the right tool Remember for the right level of excavation. And Use don't rush yourself. Right Why is she talking twice? Result in an unsteady dig site. So be mindful of its stability. Okay, that's closer, it says. And it's telling us, oh, it's over here. I see. I get it. Okay. Bonus item uncovered. Heck yeah. There we go. Antiquity unearthed. After an antiquity... You may be able to search for additional bonus loot, if there's any to be found. The antiquarian's eye cannot identify and locate bonus loot, so dig strategically to try and find it. Okay, we got the, the any all of the bonus loot that's available. Pretty nice. Okay, we did it, Gabriel. There you have it. You're a proper antiquarian now. Seems well, quite an act for it let's too. go get that one. Just keep practicing with the antiquarian's eye and I think it said we had one. I'm confident you'll be recovering priceless relics Yay. in no time. This seems fun. So what should I do next? I'd report back to Verida and let her know you successfully extracted your first antiquity. Don't expect too much in the way of praise, but trust me, she'll be ecstatic. Once you've checked in, start looking for relics. No time like the present, eh? Okay, sounds good. Oh, no. Wrong button. It's the stick. Just gotta remind herself. Running is the stick. Okay. Hello. Welcome back, Antiquarian. I trust your time with Gabrielle was illuminating? Yeah, she taught me how to use the Antiquarian's tools. Excellent. I had a good feeling about you. And as usual, I was right. From now on, consider yourself free to pursue any antiquities that interest you. We will catalog your findings for study, and together we will uncover the mysteries of this world. Yay, this sounds fun. All right. You have a great deal of work to do, Antiquarian. Wouldn't you agree? We're all quite busy, truth be told. But I suppose I can make can more time for our 11? most promising initiates. Is there something I can help you with? You can balance increase to 13. Um, how should I decide what antiquities to pursue? Oh, achievement unlocked, scholar of the circle. That is entirely up to you. What cultures spark your curiosity? What region of Tamriel do you yearn to visit? Or, if it's simple wealth you're after, what item might fetch a prize on the second-hand market? The choice is yours. I see. How can I find something truly magnificent? Well, your antiquities codex contains only those antiquities we're currently hmm. aware of. Oh. If you want to make a unique discovery of your own, you'll need to find a lead, something that gives you. A okay, so that's spot. they don't have an they don't give us any leads. So where do we find leads? Practically anywhere, believe it or not, tucked away in chests, in the pockets I of see. bandits, stashed in musty ruins. Just explore Tamriel as any adventurer would, and you're bound to find some. Thank you. Now, what kind of objects will I find out there? The potential applications of our discoveries are endless. You might find items worthy of display in your home, or discover a long-forgotten technique for body ornamentation. You might even recover jewelry or armor imbued with arcane power. Ooh. What's the greatest thing you've ever recovered? Oh, I couldn't possibly choose. In any case, my interest in these objects has less to do with their uses and more to do with their historical value. Amalian swore she found parts of a mechanical mount, but that sounds a bit outlandish to me. Interesting. Alright, so let's... Let's... How do we... How do we do the, the scrying thing? So excavation, we can get more skills. 
increase the amount of time we have. Does more shoveling. Treasure chests. And then we have a separate one for scrying. Additional turn. Uh, the difficulties. Alright, so we got those skills. Ooh, should we get a fighter's guild quest? We have one a spot. Fascinating application of the oh. technique. This is the magic one, right? Hello. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? The Mage's Guild? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Um, sure, let's talk about it. Always good to speak I don't know with if you can only do one of them. Seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. What can you tell me about the Mage's Guild? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. Uh -huh. The guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. What do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to Ooh. members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the guildmaster himself. You mentioned a guildmaster? Banus Galarian, one of the founding members of this august I guess body, we can join them both. Still holds the proud title of guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. Uh. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the artificer, to ensure our future success. I see. I think I'm ready to join the Mage's Guild. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mage's Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the guild. Woo! So there's a point for us reading now. Okay. Over so here, initiate. We have a quest, I guess. Hello? Greetings. I have a message for you from Velast, mistress of Incunabula. Um, a message for me? Indeed. She has a task for you. You'll want to speak with her as soon as you can. Where can I find her? The last awaits you at the Guild Hall in Davin's Watch, along the eastern coast of Stonefalls. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. What can I tell you? Who is Velast again? The mistress of Incunabula for the Guild, the Keeper of Tomes. She's the Guild's most accomplished lore master, ah. second only really to Guildmaster Vanus himself. Do you know what she wants from me? With me? I don't. But she usually tries to offer new guildmates a chance ah, to prove themselves. Okay. As you might imagine, she's keenly interested in acquiring new books for the lore library. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe she's cool. got a lead on a trove of tomes? Cool. Excited that now our books are have a purpose. 